Okay. Okay, for lab number four, we're using um, TDR, capacitance probes, and then direct measurements of volumetric water content. So we have one TDR and one capacitance probe and pure water. And then we have two TDRs installed in sand and water. So we have TDR1 here and the TDR2 here. And we also have three capacitance probes just installed right in the surface, so they're about that deep. We're also going to take a direct measurement of the soil moisture just by using a ring. We're just going to punch it into the sand, right? Pull our sand sample out, flatten it off, and we'll pour this into a can, put it in the oven overnight, and we'll calculate the volumetric water content like we did in the last one. Okay, to get the volumetric water content from the TDR probes, we have them attached to this data logger. When we've pulled up on the screen, this is a PC TDR program. And what we're gonna do is we're going to make sure it's on probe one. And we need to find the disturbance in the signal. As it sends a signal through the cord, it'll cause a disturbance in once it hits the soil, and then it'll continue to send that signal down the end of the metal rods and back, and you'll see a disturbance at the end of the rods. So that's what we're looking for. So I'm going to tell the program to just start at zero and go out 10 units, and we'll see if we can have that in our view. Here we go. So right here at this point is where the signal first hits the soil. Then right here it's traveling down the metal rods and right it reaches the end of the rods right there for the TDR. So we want to zoom in on that portion of the signal and it looks like it's about between six and nine. So see here we've zoomed in, here's where the signal hits the soil, and here's where it gets to the end of the rod. So we want to calculate the water content for that section. We'll go down here, click water content, and it'll give us our water content, 0.232, for the TDR that's deepest in the sand. And then we want to get our reading from probe 2, which is shallower in the sand. And to find our disturbance, we want to start again at the beginning and get our waveform. And as you can see, here's where we're looking. So this is where it hits the sand, and this is the end of the rod. So we'll zoom in on that graph. and get the waveform, and then we'll ask the program to calculate the water content. And so here, the second TDR is giving us a water content of 0 0.196. Now we're going to switch probes, and we're going to measure the TDR probe that's just in water. So we're going to start the graph back at the beginning. We're going to go out a little bit further because it should take it longer to travel through water, which it didn't. But here's where we want to zoom in on, is this portion here. So here you can see that it just took longer for the signal to reach the end of the probe. We want to calculate the water content. And here we have a water content of 0 0.938. So that's how we measured the TDR probes.
water content. And now we're going to switch over to the capacitance probes. And here we just have it all done for us. We don't have to go through or, and find the wavelength or anything. We have the pressure readings and then the volumetric water content calculated here for us. So this one here, the 0 0.84 volumetric water content one, that is the capacitance probe that is in water. These three here are the ones that are sitting at the surface of the sand and water in the bucket 